The valley of Valbona is surrounded by high mountains and offers peace and tranquility. Hiking, horse riding and walking make one feel as if in fairyland. The valley of Valbona can be visited not only during the summer but also in the winter when everything is covered in the white of snow. The hospitality of the locals is heartwarming and the atmosphere fills you with the joys of life and with the beauty of nature, despite the cold northern winds. Skodra, the cradle of Albanian culture, dates back from the 4th century BC and is located on the hill above where the three rivers flow. It has old Venetian architecture. In Skodra, you can visit the Rozafa Castle, the Ethnographic Museum, the Marubi Museum, the Leiden Mosque, the Cathedral of Skodra, and the Franciscan Church. Skodra is home to the greatest poets and writers of Albanian literature. The city can be visited all year round, and nearby there is the beach of Velipoja and the Alps for a great escape. Travelling south from Tirana, you can find the most important cultural heritage sites of Albania, also part of World Heritage. Beirat, the city of a thousand windows, is like a museum set in nature. Inhabited since the 7th century BC, the city has traces of different historical periods. The Byzantine Church, St. Mary's Church and the famous iconographic museum of Onufri. A few kilometers from Berat are the canyons of the Osumi River, where you can enjoy rafting and other sporting activities. You can also enjoy rafting on the River Vyosa, not located not too far away from the city of Berat. Southeast of Tirana, you can visit Korcha, the city with a rich tradition where different architectural styles intermingle harmoniously. The city is known for its carnival festival and its beautiful singing called Serenata. In the surrounding villages of Korcha, you can visit churches and old monasteries you can taste delicious home-cooked food from old recipes. Pogradets is home to Laskush Paradetsi and Mitrush Kuteli, two of the greatest authors in Albanian literature. In the city of Pogradets, you can taste the local dish of Koran fish. Lake Ochrid was known in former times as Lichnida and is the main attraction of the city. The surrounding villages Tusha Misht and Lin are a beauty of greenery with their pebbled alleys and amazing mosaics of the 4th to 5th century BC found in the Christian Basilica. The Caravasta Lagoon, located in the National Park of Divyaka, is part of the Ramsar Convention. It is unique for its biodiversity and home to 5% of the worldwide population, the bird commonly known as the curly pelican. The park is perfect for bird watchers and for its 200 types of birds.
Giracasta, another UNESCO site, is known as the City of Stone. In Giracasta, you can visit the beautiful castle of Agioro and the Weapons Museum. The great Albanian writer and candidate for the Nobel Prize for Literature, Ismail Kadere, called his hometown a magical city and one that gives birth to great ideas. In the typical narrow streets of Giracasta, you can also visit the stone works from the hands of craftsmen. Laura, with its beautiful beaches, is where the Adriatic and the Ionian Sea join together. The peninsula of Karaburun and the island of Sazan intrigue and fascinate visitors. The city of Flora is considered today as one of the most important urban areas. With a new project ready for implementation, Flora is on its way to be transformed into a destination city for tourism. With its beautiful landscape, Mediterranean cuisine, with typical full flavors and cultural sites, Flora offers everything. For those of you who like sport, you can explore the undersea world. And if you like adrenaline, Flora is your destination. Another testimony of the historical importance of Flora is the Declaration of Independence in 1912. The National Historical Museum of Flora is the office where the father of the nation, Ismail Chimali, gathered the first independent government of Albania. Travelling south from Vlora, you can explore the beautiful Albanian Riviera with its numerous sand and pebbled beaches. The most southern city of Albania, Saranda, has become home to local and international visitors all year round. Blessed with the greatest number of sunny days and numerous archaeological sites, Saranda has become a city well worth visiting and exploring. From the top of the mountain to the coastline, you should never miss the beautiful sunset. With a blue eye, the UNESCO archaeological site of Butrint, architectural sites that date back from the 4th century, you are travelling through history. The land of the eagles is a beautiful country in every season, with a friendly people who will make your stay a memorable, lifelong experience. Albania is a land to be discovered and loved.